I have six Illustrator typography settings that you probably don't use, and I'm going to tell you why you should be using them. What is up people, welcome back to Satoru Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. Let's head right into my 6 typography settings that you're not using and find out why you need to be using them in Illustrator. So firstly press Command or Control T to bring up the character window. I'm not sure if this is just Illustrator CC, but there are two very handy filters that you can find in here. The first filter that I'm going to show you is at the top and it's actually the favourites filter. I haven't actually favourited any fonts yet, but you can click the star icon next to a font to add it to your favourites list. Then when you apply this filter, all of your liked fonts are going to appear in a list of choices. Now this is something I'm going to utilise in the future, but something that's even cooler than this is the similar fonts filter. If you select some text in Illustrator and then come into the character window and click the similar font filter, you'll be shown a selection of fonts on your computer that are of a similar style. This is a very handy function that I use very often in my workflow. The second Illustrator typography setting that you're probably not using is the coding style in the character window. You can find three options here that you might want to be mindful of. Firstly, you have auto coding, which assigns coding values to font pairs that commonly have problems. So for example, L and A, W and A, and so forth. Illustrator uses a built-in code to create a tighter and more visually pleasing kerning between neighboring letters. Next, we have optical kerning, which is a good choice for fonts with poorly built-in kerning by default. It's also perfect for sections of text or words that use more than one font or font size. Lastly, we have Metrics Roman only kerning, which made its debut in Illustrator CS4. Now this is mainly used for Japanese typography, but also adjusts Latin characters. So yeah, be mindful of these three settings in the character window when you're next working on your typography project. The third typography setting in Illustrator is just a quick and easy way to orientate your text vertically instead of horizontally. Now this can come in handy for specific designs when you need vertical text. It's always useful to know this setting within Adobe Illustrator. Another setting that you can find in Illustrator is going to allow you to add certain symbols in just a couple of seconds. Anything that helps you save time in Illustrator is good to know in my opinion. So go up to Type and Insert Special Character, where you can find copyright symbols, trademark symbols, and many other kind of marked symbols too. As you can see here, I've easily added the trademark icon to my hand lettering, without having to import or locate the file somewhere on my computer. The fifth setting for Typography Illustrator is located in the Preference panel under, yeah you've guessed it, Type. Here you have two settings that I want to quickly show you. Firstly, you can change the amount of previously used fonts that's going to appear in the character window but you can also change the size of that preview, how it's going to appear in the character panel. So if we do move back over to the character panel, you can see I have five previously used fonts, and the preview on the right hand side is actually quite large. These are the settings that I personally use, so play around with them and see what fits best for your workflow. Finally today, there's a quick way to access your previously used fonts, and that is here under type and recently used fonts. Again, this saves time for your workflow and it's always handy to know. I hope you found today's tutorial useful and if you want to continue to prove your skills and your awareness as a designer, subscribe to Tutorial Graphics for weekly graphic design content. Like and share my videos on social media if you want to help out my channel. And as always, until next time, design your future today. Peace.